Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Arma Hobby and it comes in 172nd scale, it's quite an interesting thing because here we get a Hurricane Mark 2D so that's a special version which was used in order to destroy German tanks <clears throat> and also German vehicles as you can see on the box art and actually box art is quite nice here but we have a let's say final shape of this kit so that's the kit as you will get it if you buy it from any good model shop or maybe from official Arma Hobby website and here I think it's important to give a short note about the Rio aircraft so this Mark II D was designed in order to fight German tanks the main difference was the 40 millimeters cannons under wings since the special gondolas and we have here the writing that 3d printed parts included so i suppose these actual things are copied with help of 3d printing but we will check it together once we open the box you can note that the packaging is quite standard for this brand here is comparison with my hand also here on the side you will find a short note on the contents so I'll take a look as well we have decals for five marking options we have 3d printed parts and we have masks included so so basically you get all the necessary stuff out of the box you don't have to buy anything extra only if you want to add more features then you can invest a bit more but I would say such package is more than enough for a nice build. Here you can see also the five marking options which are included into the set. Obviously we will check more once we will be opening the assembly manual. But I can see that there are some interesting markings included. And here of course on the other side we have address of the manufacturer and some safety advices. So this is a side opening box. And all the stuff, all the parts are packed into this receivable plastic bag. So it will be quite easy to open it and take a look at the part. So just give me a second. I will try to locate the flap. Straight away I can say that it's not cool that again we get the uh, Clio parts not packed into a separate plastic bag. So it might get scratched accidentally but in my thing in my kit I can see that everything is alright so let's start actually with this clear frame so I'll zoom in and you can see now all these canopy parts so even though this kit is molded in 172nd scale still we get quite nice features we get also the cockpit which can be cockpit canopy which can be opened and this is a really great thing in such small size so I think some others will definitely appreciate such thing and of course uh, the fact that we have masks included it's also quite handy in such small scale because it's not a I would say great pleasure to cut all these tiny stickers and here you get them together with a standard package next we continue with the 3d printed parts they were packed into this bubble wrap so they arrived intact and then they have their own tiny ziplock bag so I'll open it in a second so here as I said we have this uh, cannon gondolas and I'm not sure why it is written like this. I guess there are also some templates on how to cut off the parts. So here you can check it closer. So this I suppose are the templates. So you can see that there are some directions. Then the gun gondolas and the gun barrels. You can see them here inside between this... Uh, protecting tabs and they look quite fine do not mind the color of these parts it's white gray but still I think the overall printing quality looks good and with some careful assembly you will get a quite nice result just like with the typical plastic parts and next we have one and only plastic sprue for all other elements which is rather surprising because I already forgot about it but let's not zoom out let's check first the close-up so here we start with the right fuselage half and you can see that we have really nice external features we have also the um, nice imitation of the fabric surface we have recessed panel lines and rivets and all of this comes in 172nd scale I will probably close the lenses so that it will be visible the same applies to this top wing half and also we have the cockpit floor pre-molded between this house so you get basically a single piece part here we continue with minor elements for the cockpit and also for landing gear here we continue with the tail wing also we get the bottom wing half we also can see some parts for the main wheel wells here so for the wing as you can see we have the flaps and nylons pre-molded but as far as I remember Edward makes the update 
or upgrade set for such thing and you can actually drop the flaps on your aircraft but in 170 second scale this will be quite a precision work so uh, keep it in mind when you will be considering such upgrade and here you can see also the left fuselage half and if you flip it over so here inside you can see that we have the guiding elements in the fuselage half and also we have them in the wing parts here and here and as for the fuselage half, we also get some minor cockpit features, but as you remember, we also have some cockpit items molded separately, so it will be actually more of the stuff copied out of the box, but overall molding quality looks really impressive. Again, I remind that this is a 170 second scale, so uh, all the parts are really tiny. And they will require maybe even some special tools so that you get everything in the right spot. Next we continue with the mask sheet. So here we continue with the pre-cut ones. And as you can see they will be handy not only for the canopy but also for landing gear wheels. Which is really great. And next we have decals which are printed in tech mode. So here we have all the necessary symbols for five marking options as you remember. And printing quality looks nice. So here you can see also the stencils. We also have decals for the seat belts. So as I said before, such package should be all right for out of the box build. But obviously if you would like to have more I would say realistic items in the cockpit then definitely go for some aftermarket and next we continue with the assembly manual so this one is quite I would say standard for this brand we have short history node and we also have the parts map here and next oh so also exhaust stacks are 3d printed and next we continue with the masks application guide so here you can see that it actually covers all the clear parts and also the landing gear wheels next we continue with the wing so here you have to do some cuts because it will be necessary in order to install the new gun gondolas and as i said this is actually the template for the panels because these panels will copy the loading hatches for the guns as far as i understand next or maybe the fixing to the wing next we continue with the main wheel well and we assemble two halves together we start working on the cockpit here on the bottom of the second page so as you can see again you will be using the decals for the seat belts on the pilot seat here we continue with more parts getting into the cockpit and here we also get this cover i would say tips on how to paint the parts so that later you don't have to reach it somehow next we continue with fuselage house assembly and the connection together with the wing here we have the landing gear air intake and here we assemble the propeller air intake on the nose section canopy parts and here we assemble the gondolas for the guns note that their position or their placement will be slightly different which is quite interesting because it's not that noticeable on the first side next we have the first marking option so here we also get some qr code with more info i guess about this particular marking and here we have two more so five in total and on the last page you will find also the small ad for other hurricane keys from the same brand and by the way we reviewed them all so you can find the review on our youtube channel just type in the kit number manufacturer name and you will see what we actually checked as for today's kit it should be already available you can get it on official arma hobby website as i said before and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and I I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.